Yeah. Well, we've had about 24 hours to digest the news. Soon, all coffee sold here in California may come with a warning label about the potential danger of cancer. A judge issued the ruling because of a chemical release during the coffee roasting process. But not all health experts agree that this is a real health danger. Well, clinical nurse specialist Alice Benjamin is here now to talk about this acrylamide controversy. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. This has been winding its way through the courts for some time, but I think when it came out yesterday, it had everyone up in arms. Yes, yeah, so it's been brewing for yes. over eight years, but I, what I really want viewers to know is don't throw your coffee cup away just yet, because although there is some concern about acrylamide, which is the, the compound of concern, mm -hmm. Coffee itself does not cause the cancer. What they're concerned about is the acrylamide, which is a byproduct of the coffee bean uh, process, Roast. roasting process. Mm -hmm. So that's what the concern is. So it's, you know, it's one thing to know science, but we have to apply the science appropriately. And it's not to promote mass hysteria or to scare people, but just to inform consumers. And also they're saying that it's not enough to actually harm, that it's a small amount, a trace amount. Is that correct? That is correct. And actually when it came to studies, they found that in rodents, large amounts of acrylamide did change the DNA, cause mutations, which led to cancer. There's been no such studies or evidence really that relates to humans. But the concern is if it's happened in rodents, it can very likely happen in humans, although we don't have that clear in science yet. Yeah, it's interesting because this is a ruling by the judge. It's not a final ruling, but it does look like this could be the direction we go. And we were talking about this issue of having so many warning labels on so many products, especially here in California. Right. And in the healthcare profession, we call this alarm fatigue. So it's important to be transparent when it comes to science. But if we start labeling every single thing that has even the most minuscule amount of a carcinogenic, then everything would have it. I think we were saying earlier, you could you know, have to put yourself in a bubble, but even the bubble itself would have to have a warning label itself. Um, but here in California, we have a unique law, um, Proposition 65. It's the Safe Drinking Water and Toxic Enforcement Act. And what it is, it's a law that says that we have to list all of the carcinogenic items that are in a product, and those companies must display those to consumers prior to buying or using them. And so this is where this is stemming from. Coffee makers are now being told they need to place this warning on their products and in their stores. And um, as a healthcare professional, and I think I share this with my colleagues, it's a little bit of an overkill. And this is the same group that went after potato chip makers, and this is also in other products as well, is that right? Yes, yeah, so when it comes to Proposition 65, anyone who's acting in public interest can file a lawsuit. And so this company that brought on this lawsuit over eight years ago is the same company that went after big potato chip. So, uh, you know, it's one thing to inform the, the consumers, but I'm just curious, the money that will come from this lawsuit, we should do like big tobacco. If there is money that's to be gained from this lawsuit, it should go back into research and improving the process so we can make coffee healthier. Even though right now it's, it is very safe. You Again, still like your coffee. I still like my coffee. I have my coffee mug here. Yeah. Yeah. As long as it's you know, three to four cups of coffee a day in moderation <laughs> without being overloaded in sweeteners and creamers and stuff like that, it's still healthy. It has great health benefits. I have, can have two more cups of coffee. Thank yes. you. Yes. You've made Kathy's day. Yes, you have. Thank you, Nurse Alice. Thank you.